Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today, and recently I had the chance to go hands on with The Evil Within 2. Bethesda informed me that this section of the demo was the survival horror experience compared to earlier sections in the game which other people had demoed before where it was about the exploration and collecting part of the game. So entering this demo I was expecting more along the lines of intense action, being low on ammo constantly, stuff along those lines in typical survival horror fashion. And I'll just say this much for starters is that the demo was interesting for better and worse. Allow me to start off with the good stuff though. The evil within when action is in your face is certainly intense. My first encounter was with a god knows what. I don't know what this thing is, man, but it had like 40 heads in its chest and I just enjoyed shooting it. But it was intense because it was that running away, looking over your shoulder type of action that I was used to in the first evil within as well as other survival horror games. And this mini boss encounter was interesting because there were various traps set up across the level that I could have lured this thing into in order to save my ammo if I was smart enough to actually use it but as you guys saw in the gameplay I uploaded I shot the living hell out of the thing because I haven't played a survival horror game since Resident Evil at the beginning of the year so my brain was just not geared in that way I've been playing a lot of shooters and stuff lately so I was like unload on this sucker based off what I've seen in trailers and what I have now experienced the evil within 2 is going for a much more intense dreadful atmosphere compared to the first game where I'd say only chapter 9 where you were in Rubik's Mansion was the only scary part of that game and it still holds up to this day as that being the only scary part in that game. Otherwise, The Evil Within 1 was a fun survival horror title, but it didn't have much horror in the game. So I'm feeling like with The Evil Within 2, they're trying to really hammer home some of the horror elements there. Now, it wasn't like I was jumping out of my seat in fear or screaming in the demo room, but there were some parts where I'll admittedly turn down my headphone volume just a little bit because I was getting a little nervous. And by little, I mean I was kind of like sweating in there. With that said, for Bethesda to describe this as the survival horror experience and then for me to really only get into combat with three enemies I can remember which was the initial mini boss and then two enemies as I progressed through the level was something I wasn't expecting and I mean that in a bad way because regardless of what difficulty you're playing on whether it's casual where you're able to pick up more ammo or normal difficulty where you should really be making every shot count or obviously the hardest difficulty where you better have perfect aim. There were so few enemies in that level that no matter what difficulty I was playing on, I was going to get through pretty easily because ammo conservation wouldn't have mattered. And that even ties into the boss fight at the end of the level where you had to shoot the camera on its head to stop it from stunning the generator. Literally, I'd pop out, shoot it, and then hide behind a wall, and that was it. I mean, I liked the boss mechanic itself. It was interesting, it was different, but the boss didn't have this ability to track me down, and so it made what could have been a really intense boss fight something more lackluster, and maybe that's because the AI wasn't working on my end. This game is still a month out. There are things that need to be worked out, but I figured a demo section would be something that is functioning properly. As for the actual exploration when going through the levels, such as the art section, or when you're messing around with a mannequin, taking the picture, trying to recreate the scene and then it turns into a hallway stuff like that that really messed with your head were easily my favorite parts of the demo itself i'm expecting the survival horror elements to kick in in a game that calls itself survival horror but what really did stick out to me the most were those little psychological twists that not many other titles do also compared to the evil within one areas were much wider and open to explore even in a level that wasn't based too much around exploration so i think that's going to be a welcome change of pace for those who are going to be in investing in this game and lastly let's cover the upgrade section so there are weapon upgrades character upgrades you can actually test out your guns in a little shooting mini game get a feel for the weapon you've just upgraded the upgrades are simple such as your sprinting meter your health bar regen reload speed fire rate damage stuff along those lines and that doesn't make it bad because those rewards pay dividends throughout the story itself anyway those are my thoughts on the evil within 2 overall i'd say leave Leaving this demo, I wasn't jumping out of my seat in excitement, but I feel The Evil Within 2 is going to be that game you have to settle in for the whole adventure. Once you're in tune with the game, I'm expecting a much different experience, but as a pop-in, pop-out type of demo, I am curious about the game, but not for the right reasons, I'd say, because I want to see if a lot of the flaws I picked out in the demo end up being amended in the final product. With that said though, I do recall with The Evil Within 1, it didn't receive raving press previews, but the reviews weren't all that bad. And I think that's once again showing with The Evil Within 2. The preview 
isn't gonna really do it for you until you try out the full product. So this is a game I'd say keep your eye on because I don't know if the previews will really do it justice. Time will tell though. And those are just my thoughts on The Evil Within 2. What do you guys think based off the gameplay I showed you yesterday? If you missed it, there's a link in the description down below. Do be sure to check it out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are also in the description, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content we create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.